16 millimeter and three quarters a flat head screwdriver and ratchet and i always like to use some tread sealant before i start replacing my airbags i would like to explain you in a couple of words what needs to be done if you have couple two by fours put them in between your frame and the axle drain the air and then remove this air line by pushing this o-ring in with a flat uh, screwdriver pull it out then remove this nut another nut from the center of the airbag on the bottom push the airbag here all the way down as much as you can hold this hole so it does not suck the air in push it to the side remove it if you don't have any 2x4s don't drain the air remove the air line bend it 360 degrees and secure it with duct tape of airbag it's a lot easier in my opinion because you can use a socket to unscrew that nut from there and the one on the bottom same socket so it's very easy remove the hose push it down hold this hole with your finger so the airbag does not inflate and pull it to the side and that's why you need a flat screwdriver so you can remove the air line you have to push this ring right here and pull so here we have to remove uh, this nut. What we have to do is to remove the nut from the bottom of the airbag. It's just like that. Super easy. And the final, final thing. And now you have to just push it from the both sides down release the air and just push it to the side So now we're ready to put it. Uh, what I like to do to push on the both sides of the airbag like this, and then put my finger here so it does not suck the air in. You see what happens? Now we make sure the bolt goes into that direction. Let the finger. Done deal. So you make sure that those little holes in there, they're aligned with this on the bracket. You'll feel it when you pull it, it clicks in. And then you have to put the nut here, insert the gear line back. I just did it, insert it, and the nut on the bottom and that's it job done